Hello. For this video, I'm going to show you how to make this card with this fold. Very simple. Isn't that cute? And that's a one simple, easy fold. And to me, it looks like an airplane. I have no idea what this is called. I've seen this just once. Um, and I took a pit, quick picture of it and I thought, it is a fold down corner, but it looks like an airplane, a, fly, a paper airplane. So unless somebody else knows, somebody does know the name of this, I'm gonna call it the airplane corner fold because that's what it looks like to me. All right, so, and how to do this with one inch or less, these ones are exactly one inch wide. So you can see it definitely does work. Okay, this one's a little bit wider. So, and I was, and I like this idea because um, we often have these triangles left over, these triangle pieces left over from making um, the Starburst cards. And I do have a whole stack of them in my, in my, in a box. Um, so, but I wanted to show you how to make this without using the leftover Starburst in case you don't have it. All right, so what you need is a one inch piece wide. That's exactly one inches. Um, and at least as wide as, wide as the width of your card. So I've got mine four and a half instead of four and a quarter. So it's a little bit longer, but that's okay. All right, so what you wanna do is you wanna open your card up and you wanna lay this paper down <clears throat> right here because that's the way you wanna see it. Meaning, when you fold this card over, where's the one that's open? When you fold the card open, you want that triangle to be here, okay? So we know we want the slant to go from this corner to this corner, okay? So that's what we're looking for. We want the slant from this corner down to here, okay? And we wanna be able to see this part of it. So we wanna cut from this corner down to right about here on the yellow, okay? So I just so I just marked it there. So now you need to take your cutting board and we want it from this corner down to this little mark. All righty. There. Okay. So now we have that. Come on. Okay. So this is the piece. <clears throat> All righty, and as you can see, it is a little bit longer because my, my piece was longer. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down and then I'll trim it. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue it now because that's the easiest way I've found to do this card is go ahead and just get it done. So work on it right away. Oops, tweezers. Alrighty, then I'm gonna line it up on my card. Pull it over here a little bit, leaving just a slight little edge on there. Wipe the excess glue away. All right, very good. So now you can see what it looks like. Okay, so now we're gonna trim this side off. Just that extra little piece, because we don't need that on there. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull out our scoreboard. And we're going to score from corner to corner on the inside of this triangle. So when I have a black line going down this center mark so that I can do exactly things like this. So I'm going to kind of put this here and I'm going to turn this until it's right there. Okay, that's perfect. And that looks pretty darn good to me. Okay, so now I'm going to hold it and go ahead and score it all the way up. Whoops, and I went on to the other side of the page, but that's okay. All right. All right, so we've got our score mark, and I will lift it up and show you so you can see right there. Okay, so I've just scored it right along the edge, leaving just a little tiny. See how this has got like a sixteenth of an inch? That's all I did here. Let's just do it a little bit shorter, okay? Because now I can take this and I can fold it down and we have our paper kite. Isn't that cool? So that's the fold. All right, right there. How simple can that be? All righty. 
I'm wondering, will this fit here? You know what, it will. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this piece right here. And then I can trim that off too. And you don't have to do that, but I think it's kind of fun to go ahead and why not? On, on a couple of them, I'll show you in just a moment. I did different paper on one or two of them. I think it was this, I don't know. I don't remember. We'll look at it in just a minute. I'm just guessing here. All right, so look at that. Now we have a flying airplane. It's not fun. So then we can trim this little piece off. There. All right, there we go. So now, so this, these ones are the same, plus the front panel is the same. And this one's done the same exact way. So that's with the inside of the card and the outside of the card and the fold down. They're all the same. Okay, this one here, I did it different. And I really like this one too. I like them all, but I, I don't know. I kind of like this one the best so far. So, but this is different from these two pieces. Okay, so all I did with this was the piece that I cut off for underneath here, then I put it up there. All right, so this one I'm doing it even different again because I just want the airplane part to be one color. And then I, I pulled out these because I think that matches kind of nice too, but I'm gonna have to piece this together. But that's okay. I like playing with scraps. So I'm gonna go ahead and tape this together. Where's my cheapy masking tape? or scotch tape from the Dollar Tree, rather, I should say. Alrighty. All right, so now let's put this off at five and a, and you can certainly use a whole piece if you've got a whole piece. I just wanted to use this because it's so pretty and somebody sent it to me and I like the way it matches. All right, so five and a half. All right, I wanted a little bit less there okay so there's that and then I need this one at a little bit less than five and a half okay because I'm going to need another piece to make this wide enough all right so let me add this to this and then I just need to trim it down to the right size All right, so that is a, a little bit wider, but that's okay. So now we can trim this down to fit. So I need a four and a quarter. Oh, let's see. So I'm gonna do four and an eight there. All right, so see, by putting those strips together, I've created a card front piece and it's just taped together, but that's okay. So now I need to cover this, okay? But I've got to remove this upper corner. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw on here and I want to trim it about here. And I know I have to go up to that corner a little bit over. All right. So let's trim this off. And there we go. Ta-da! All right. And this should fit right underneath this fold, which it does. I did that good. Yay me! I like it when I do it right the, the first time. That's nice. All right, so let's go ahead and put this on there. Leave a slight, tiny little border around. That's really pretty. I like that. Oh, and look at that contrast. I like the contrast. That's really pretty. All right, very good. So, whoops. <clears throat> so this little extra piece, I could put in here, but then again, I've got a piece in there, don't I? So, but you know what? Maybe I'll just put this down on the bottom or... Nope, I'm just going to leave it. All right. So, and you've got a couple ideas of how to use this card already. So I'm not going to go ahead and take the time to, to decorate it at this point. I'll probably use it in another video. So, but I wanted to show you, again, this is the, the airplane corner fold. Okay. And that's how I've decorated this one. Just homemade embellishment down in the corner. The same with this. Just a homemade little embellishment that I, little cluster embellishment. 
and another little cluster embellishment. Okay. And here's the one we just did. Okay. And if you want it to, to pop up, then don't, don't con uh, glue it down. On these two, I, I actually glued them down. And this one, I glued the whole thing down. This one, I just glued on this end, so it is kind of lifting a little bit. I like that look better. I do like it lifted up a little bit. And I'm thinking that perhaps even a 3D dot would look kind of cute. And as a matter of fact, let's do that now. So that way you can see. So I'm just going to put it right on the corner here. Okay. And I think that'll be pretty. Because then it'll... Oh, yes. I like that the best. All righty. So there you go, because that's all lifted up, and I like the way that looks. All right, so this is glued all the way down. This one's glued just on the very end, and this one has the 3D dot just on the very end. I like this one the best. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do with this one then. I'm going to go ahead and put a little glue dot right on the very end. Um, I like that. Okay. Very good. So there you go. There's a couple different ideas for you of how you can decorate these cards. I hope you like this card idea. Again, if you do find this card on the internet and you and there is a name for this corner, then please let me know. Because until then, I'm, I'm just going to call it the airplane for, uh, corner fold. Because that's what it looks like to me. Alrighty. So I hope you like this idea. If, please remember to give me those thumbs up so that YouTube will continue putting my videos out there for you. And until we meet again, happy crafting. Bye-bye.